Hi guys, Mark is here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, November 2nd, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 759 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Only for Love and Wonderland of Love confirm their premiere dates. Dilraba catches up with her cousin Subi over a meal. Edward Guo offers more clarity after Neo Ho's post. And Angela Baby and Zhang Jiani are suspended on Weibo. But first, here is what's recently premiered two dramas for today and yesterday. First, there's We Go Fast on Trust, a sports drama starring Ellis Ko and Zai Zilu. It premiered yesterday, November 1st. According to Baidu, in the drama, Taiwanese actress Ellis Ko is an engineer who's obsessed with realizing her dream in life. She meets Zai Zilu, an aspiring motor racer who longs to one day represent China in the Super Formula Arena. Together, they help each other realize their dreams. We Go Fast on Trust is slated for 22 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. Then there's Love is Panacea starring Leo Luo and Zhang Ronan, the modern drama premiered earlier today. According to Baidu, Love is Panacea follows the heart-wrenching romance between a medical genius played by Leo Luo and a brilliant student played by Zhang Ronan. She suffers from the rare and deadly Huntington's disease and together they try to defeat it. Love is Panacea is slated for 34 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. And that's it for what's recently premiered. Yesterday, there were a couple of big premiere date confirmations. Only for Love had been rumored to premiere in November for a while, with November 1st being a much speculated date. Yesterday, the modern drama starring Bai Lu and Dylan Wang offered clarity by announcing a November 3rd premiere. That's tomorrow. They shared this poster and this one of a fuller cast to make the announcement. Miles Wei co-stars, Eric Zane and Jiang Pei Yao put in special appearances. They also shared this poster to reveal that they broke 1 million reservations on Mango TV within 4 hours of announcing their premiere date. The drama had passed review and obtained a distribution license for 36 episodes in September. They had wrapped filming in March. This will be Bai Lu's second drama this year. Her other one was the super popular Xianxia Till the End of the Moon with Liu Luo. It's Dylan's third drama this year after Never Give Up and Youth in the Flames of War. According to Baidu in Only for Love, Bai Lu is a financial reporter who lands an interview with Dylan's character, the young president of a company that's constantly looking for potential startups to invest in. The two make a deep impression on each other and end up collaborating again. The more they collaborate, the closer they grow as well. The drama is slated for 36 episodes and will stream on Mango TV. Also confirming their premiere date yesterday was Wonderland of Love. Wonderland of Love stars Xu Kai and Jing Tian, and yesterday they shared these two posters to announce a November 6th premiere. They shared this one to announce 1.5 million reservations on Tencent. Xu Kai has been in three dramas this year. He was last in Snow Eagle Lord with Gu Li Naja. Jing Tian has been in two. She last starred in The Legend of Zhuo Hua with Feng Shaofeng. According to Wiki, in Wonderland of Love, Xu Kai is an emperor's grandson who disguises as a frontline general. Jing Tian is a commander's ambitious daughter who disguises as a lieutenant. The two duke it out in the battlefield, but end up in a romance. Wonderland of Love will stream on Tencent. I will update on where to watch Only for Love and Wonderland of Love with English subs if available after they premiere. Alright, that's it for drama updates, celebrity updates now, and today we begin with Dilraba, who apparently hasn't been back to her hometown in 10 years. Dilraba recently joined the latest season of Divas Hit the Road as a regular guest. The variety show shared some behind-the-scenes footage, which got netizens talking. Taken before Dilraba was to meet up with the rest of the cast of the show, the video shows the actress having a meal with her younger cousin, Subi. Netizens commented on how the pretty gene ran in their family. 
In the video, the 31-year-old Legend of Unless star shown here on the left had some noodles as she revealed that she hadn't been back to their hometown of Urumqi in 10 years. Subi said that the last time she went back, she couldn't even recognize the roads. Quote, It's changed. I don't even dare take the bus. I wouldn't know which one to take. Everyone started taking the train. Very few are taking the bus. Unquote. There's a very catch-up-between-family feel about their short chat. Some netizens wondered if Subi, who goes by Sue Berber on Weibo, would be making her debut soon. It's been reported that she is a trainee in Beijing and plans to embark on an acting career. She's admitted that she doesn't see Cousin Del Raba that much and wouldn't want to take any shortcuts. She hopes that through her own efforts, she can follow her cousin's path. Before we get to our next story, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. According to the analytics, more than half the views on this channel come from non-subscribers, so it would really help the channel out if you felt inclined, if you enjoy the content, to like and subscribe, and also to click that bell button for notifications. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps. Next up, I wanted to follow up on the Neoho Edward Guo story I mentioned in my last video. Neo stars in the currently filming costume drama The Story of Mystics, which is directed by Edward. In my last video, I mentioned that on October 30th, Neo shared a post to say, among other things, that the story of Mystics was like a gift in his life, and that he was really lucky to have met a director like Edward, who was really caring. He told everyone to trust him and his director. Neo's post was in response to fans who had thrown shade at Edward for, among other things, treating Neo differently than other actors. Here's the follow-up. Several hours later, Edward shared a post of his own, a long one, which offered even more clarity. Edward explained first and foremost that Neo was his first choice to play the lead, and that he had supported him from beginning to end. He added that there is no way he doesn't love the actors he chooses, as some rumors had alluded to. Prior to Neo's post, Edward had shared on Weibo some untouched pictures of Neo in character, but later deleted them. Some netizens said those pictures didn't look good and questioned why Edward would post and delete them so quickly. Edward clarified that the producers told him to not post that much because the drama had not been officially announced yet. He urged people to not read too much into it. Edward then addressed the accusations of him treating Neo differently. Some fans had accused him of ignoring Neo's comments on Weibo and only interacting with other actors. Edward clarified that when he made that post, Neo was right beside him. He ended the post by calling Neo a very hardworking and serious actor, and that he is honored to work with his cast. Lastly, for celebrity updates, Angela Baby and Zhang Jiani have been suspended on Weibo. Yesterday, netizens discovered that much, and the speculation is that it's because of the Crazy Horse controversy. On both actresses' Weibo accounts, it says, this user is currently suspended due to violation of relevant laws and regulations. You can still see whatever they posted previously, but at the moment, they can't make any new ones. Additionally, their Douyin accounts have also been affected. They're suspended on there too. And to top it off, Blackpink's Lisa, who reportedly had 8 million followers on Weibo, her account's been completely deleted. Her fan club wasn't spared either. The controversy began when Angela Baby and Zhang Jiani were photographed outside the Crazy Horse Cabaret in Paris. Both of them were assumed to have attended Lisa's performance. The Crazy Horse is a cabaret known for its stage shows, usually performed by nude female dancers. Lisa, who was a guest performer, stripped down to her lingerie, but did not go all the way nude. Nonetheless, because of the nature of the show, Angela Baby and Zhang Jiani's presence around there caused a controversy, and rumors of them too getting cancelled in China started to spread. Angela Baby was removed from Keep Running, a variety show that she had been a regular on since it first aired in 2014. She was edited out of other shows, and all this despite the crazy horse putting out a statement to say that the actress wasn't even at the show. Have the two really been cancelled? 
will it affect their upcoming shows? I will update if there's any development on this. Angela Baby already has one drama shelved indefinitely. That's City of Desire, which was shelved because of male lead Wushu Po's controversies. She also has Back For You with Wang Anyu and Everlasting Longing with Sun Wei Long coming up. On that note, it's Thursday today, so time for another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. As you guys know, every Sunday we do the Top 10 Chinese Web and TV Dramas of the Week. In this segment, I give some of my thoughts and predictions as to who the champions will be. To recap, last week's top web drama was Romance on the Farm with Joseph Cheng and Tian Siwei. And the top TV drama was The Heart with Mark Chow, Rachel Mao, and Jing Sujia. I'm gonna back Romance on the Farm to be the top web drama for one more week. It's already helped that spot for two. And I'm gonna back Mr. and Mrs. Chen with Guan Xiaotong and Elvis Han to be the top TV drama. No real rhyme or reason other than it's done well these past few days. So that's Romance on the Farm and Mr. and Mrs. Chen to be champions this week. What do you guys think? And that's been another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. It also brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great weekend ahead, and I will see you guys Sunday. As always, stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers! <laughs>